Hey guys, this is Nemo Montoya. I am here with a video on some tricks for Phoenix on the Haven map. Um, I plan on making this a series for eventually if this really starts turning out well. Um, I want this to be a series for every single character on every single map. So this could be quite an extensive series. Um, but I want to reach as much of a base as I can, so just let me let me know what you guys want or th think I should do in the future or any additions I should add for the next video of this series if it does happen to continue as a series. Uh, well, thank you for watching. Uh, let's cut to my first piece of advice. Okay, so my first trick for um, this map is how to flame right here. So, um, what you gotta do to flame right here is you have to go here, line yourself up with this, take out your fireball, aim it right above the roof, throw it, and then see what it does. And you fire this, and all of that. Now the next one. Okay, my second tip here is how to flame someone if they're over here without actually peeking them. Say they're camping right here waiting to just beam you. So what you do is you go right here, get in this little corner, just run at these, and then get stuck in there. Aim at the bottom of this middle little rectangle thing. Aim at the bottom right, and then throw it. And this flames all of this. Somebody's camping here? Got him. Here, got him. Here, got him. Like, uh, that, that this one has some extensive range. So this one's pretty useful. Piece of advice is how to flame on top of these boxes. Jets like to hide up there. So how you do that is you go into Cubby. You line yourself up with this third tile to the right. The one that looks a little crooked compared to the rest of them. Line them up, go to the left side a little bit, put your crosshair, and throw directly over. This flies over and lands and scorches the top of the box. The EA player up there will have no choice but to move. Another piece of advice here is that you can actually, you know, you only think of the curveballs as kind of following your, they only go sideways. Well, they, if you do it right, can also kind of go up and sideways. So let's say you're trapped here. If there's people here trying to shoot you, what you can do is look straight up, curveball, look down, and then move out. You'll be blinded for a second no matter what on this one. But it can get you out of a sticky situation. And with these boxes, the two stacked high ones, you find these on a couple maps, go like this jump and curveball it and it flashes everyone who would be looking in this general area with them having to have no reaction time at all does a pretty good job so you can definitely catch people off guard with that not a lot of phoenixes know how to do that another piece of advice um, if you want to flame on top of these boxes without truly peeking it go into the corner face like this. Look at this rafter right here. Then, um, don't lag like me, um, but, um, look at that rafter right there. Look at it. Throw. You feel like I'm on top of these boxes a bit. If you get it right, which I did not quite get it, the most excellent, uh, you can actually flame the entire box. Yeah, like I just did there. Flame the entire box like that. So pretty decent strat there. Right here is you can take your fireball. If you think someone's going to rush you here, look around here and then throw it and you can move. Good strat. Get someone looking from here. Get somebody looking here. Get somebody looking here. Okay, Stratus, if you want to fire right here, 
what you do is you go over here, go this box, and then you go about a quarter into this one. Then you look here, look this way, and then throw after you, yeah. And you fire all of right here, causing a little bit of annoyance for the other team. Maybe buying it. Okay, so I, at this point, have decided that I'm also going to throw in a couple different areas that I think could be good for uh, peeking and being and maybe ulting. Good area to ult could be here. You have some time to check here, check here. And you could even possibly plant as Phoenix here with that time or peek it and get good intel. And if they charge you, well, you'll know where they are because they're going to have to come from here. But the main problem is if somebody comes and rushes from Shorty, they are gonna they can catch you unless you have a teammate, which you always should to have your back while you ult. Um, so this right here is a good place to possibly ult if you want to charge down here. Now, right here could be moderately okay, but it's hard to defend, and they, if they rush you, you're kind of screwed. An interesting place that I haven't seen many people actually use to peek here is this right here. It, um, it has some good vantage. Not many people actually use this, um, so I'm kind of surprised because this is quite a decent spot, possibly. Another spot that I don't see using much here is this. You can use this. This like look at this box. They moved this box right here. Like it ends here. You know why? Because when you move to the end of this box, you can no longer see go like well into the hallway. So what you do is you just kind of go in here and you peek this. Main problem is if somebody rushes from here, but if you have somebody to kind of fight them off somewhere um, or give you time to move if they are then you got that under control. Another interesting spot that I have seen on this map that I do not see many people actually use is this. You want to camp this corner? I don't see or have never actually, and I've played quite a few rounds, I've never seen anyone go into this area right here. So you might consider using that. I also don't see people using these ever. And I'm, I'm serious, I've never seen anyone use these. And I wonder, like, I don't know why, because this, this is pretty, nobody, everybody always peeks from here, but nobody ever peeks from here. So, they're going to be totally caught off guard, they're going to be aiming here, but then you come out here. So, you might be able to get some good picks for a while on that. Um, so yeah, there's some of that. Something, these are actually pretty good for some reason. I don't really under, totally understand why. Um, well, they're okay, actually. I'm gonna say that. So, um, if you might, you might consider, after you clear this, um, you might consider pre-firing that. Because a lot of people actually like to camp there if they're trapped. Um, everybody clears this as well when they can. Um, so yeah, maybe this area isn't the best, but my one exception to this is if you have somebody here and somebody up there, and you have good team coordination, you boom, you both get them. So there's that. And you can do is go to here to flame those boxes. You go to here, look there at the kind of intersection there, and then throw the fireball, it bounces off, and it torches these boxes. And this entire little campy area here, which can be good to get rid of or here if people are camping there. So you have somewhat of an idea of what to expect or what to pre-fire. Thing else you can do is you can go here, get on top of logs, then jump here. If you want to get to this angle, you're protected from this side. Um, it's not the most preferable spot to be, but someday you might want to try it, see if it works for you. Might catch the enemy off guard. It's kind of the point. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Something else you can do here is you go up to here. You line yourself up at that. Look where at this thing right here. This log. Look at that. Move to the right. Throw. This is... 
Mm. You, if, if they don't, it doesn't look like you get in this corner, and if you throw it in the correct way, they will also be hurt here, and then there's a distance here to get burned from, from that fireball. Careful now. So, um, yeah, this can really force the enemy out, and so you can get a free pick, or uh, just do free damage. Hey guys, um, so that's the end of the video, um, again, let me know what you guys thought of the, of it, and, uh, if you'd like more, please like, leave a comment, send it to a friend, that would really help me out, um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and, uh, Hope you enjoyed.